Uh, you have seen him on The Tonight Show, Mad TV, and his comedy specials on Netflix. Please welcome Pablo Francisco. Oh, thank you. Hi, How are you? Pablo, good to see you. It's so good. good to have you here. This one has been so excited to have you here. Well, He's yeah. like, Val, you got to see it. You got to see it. You got to meet him. You got to. There you go. I, lo I, do, I love your stuff. Everybody knows you as like the movie previews guy. The movie previews guy. I mean, that came along. Uh, that was just by mistake. It was up in Las Vegas. I was hanging with uh, Kevin James, and uh, I was just going, Are you ready this summer? And he just kept on going, Keep on going with it. So after a while, he just, just started coming out. Get ready this summer. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this, it just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing that just kind of. Of developed so so did you not know that voice was in you no you know it took a while after a while because you, <laughs> when, the, when, the, when your friends keep on pushing you you know they keep doing it you go are you ready it starts with little words in a world and then someone's playing a deadly game and then you can you <laughs> can like, hey, you know. it's amazing like you can make anything sound exciting and cool like yeah, it can you, know, you can say uh, you know <laughs> this summer get ready Pablo Francisco found out he was type 2 diabetic could you please play pour some sugar on me something like that <laughs> <laughs> Do people ask you to leave their voicemail message like that? Uh, you know what? Some people have done that, but usually I just go, if I was going to do that, you put like other voices. Get ready. Daryl is not here. And this is Arnold. Let me tell you, you have to leave a message <laughs> to do it. So uh, <laughs> it works out like that. So. But you met the real guy, Don LaFontaine, who has passed away now, but he right. did thousands of movie trailers. And uh, what was that experience like actually meeting him? You know, it was really great because uh, Frank Caliendo, uh, who does impersonations too, great comedian, uh, put us together. And uh, he goes, you know, he goes, you do me better than I do me. And if I was you, I'd be you doing me. And we went to his house, and he goes, let's go, let's go downstairs, and uh, let's do three voiceovers. And when you go down there, he has, he has different inflections. You know, he can be like, this summer has Brady written all over it. And then it could be, you know, someone's playing a deadly game. <laughs> and it's, so you really got to believe it and stuff. You know, because, and, and you also got those other guys who do voices, like for the Disney, you know, Walt Disney, Hercules, and all your favorite Disney characters. That yeah. guy. It's like a Casey Kasem kind of thing. So. Right, right. But it, uh, we, we hung out all day, and he goes, oh, he goes, I always wanted somebody to do me. And you know what? You do me better than I do me. <laughs> so you took a little picture, and it all, it all worked out. So That's that awesome, man. How many, how many impersonations can you do? I'd say I got about 15, 20 maybe in, inside me. That's no, about I it. think you got more than that. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be characters, you know, can be like your, uh, your friend across the street. Hey, man, you know, I always, always talk like this. He's kind of like, you yeah. know. Or you got that one gas station guy. Could be Gary Busey in a gas station. How you doing there? Where's the ladies at? Ha, cha, 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 cha. That kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, Danny Glover's like always out of breath. Yeah, but, yeah, Riz. There you go, man. Take the gun and put it in your mouth. Wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do the Allstate guy, you know, the Allstate, are you in good hands? Do Decepticons and Transformers usually become a liability with Allstate? <laughs> well, that's Allstate stand, so it's all you. And, and you. and you love, like, music. I know you're a big music guy. Like, you do a lot, a lot of Aaron Neville. And Aaron Neville. I was always picturing, like, Aaron Neville walking into a pawn shop and going, look at this Xbox. I know this. Yes, I'll show it. Him. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how much, but I know I need some money. <laughs> Thank you. That's really good. That's good. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, and like all yeah. R&B music is yeah. like all about love. It's right? always all about, girl, yeah, you know you love, yeah, it's all about, I'm, girl, you're fine. It's always like, <laughs> Kind of thing, you know? So he's like, you know, Aaron Neville always goes in good with everything. But it sounds like a radio station. I picked it up, but yeah. Oh, and you like Mexican music too? Mexican, like my old bits I used to do would be the Latino music. But I always wondered, did you know, do uh, why those guys with the mariachis? I mean, do they really get pick up chicks when they're going? Yeah, women, yes, women. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a big tuba, but uh, you know, yeah. if it happens, it happens. You know, if they hook, they hook up with a woman, but it's always, you know, it sounds like a little person's, you know, like you know, shrinking. <laughs> so, those are the old bits, but it, like I'm saying, it's like it, it sounds like Mickey Mouse music. <laughs> See. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> What about techno? He, he, techno music. Well, I tell you, techno music. I've been into some of those techno. I think techno music. They need to advertise. It'd be like, because there's like 15 people. Like, like there's like 1,500 people dancing for like 15 hours. Why not advertise? Like, are, are you in good hands? Are you in good hands? Are you in good hands with all state? My pillow. There, there you go. Wow. Let's go. Yeah. You gotta check him out. He's gonna be at the Chicago Improv in Schaumburg.